get you set off and running because you record for a long amount of time. I need to move you around because the main thing is I want to see pictures of my children on the viewfinder. Since I'm going to be walking this way, this is going to be take three in the morning of when the angels take revenge. I'm just going to sniff a second by me. Right, camera two. This is going to be a difficult one to get through. Hi, camera two. I hope you'll stay through the end of the song, but you only record for 18 minutes, and this is a long song. One, two, three, four. you lurking in the shadows, hurling hate at everyone who passed, blaming friends and strangers for your downfall, denying that it was you in the looking glass. You started a stampede in the stable, and bartered flesh that was not yours to sell. You better start repenting while you're still able. The hoards upon your border won't be repelled. The rumors started at your first baptism and have been three steps ahead of you ever since. Whoever rolled snake eyes took you home with them. You pleaded self-defense, but none were convinced. I saw you lying in the sympathy cellar, a symphony of excuses playing on your tongue. I was forewarned by your fortune teller, but no one told me of the countdown. You look far away when I first glimpse you. Perspective can be deceitful that way. You claimed everyone you trusted had abused you. The strangest opening line I heard anybody say. But the hours turn to seconds of all you stole. The future hurts the most. Remember me, and you'll see tomorrow's ghost. A child told me a truth can be deceptive. His tears indicated how that had been learned. You decried him, but your memory is selective. I know what you are. And who you want. You don't know if escaping leads to freedom. You can't outrun yourself, try though you might. You offered me your lips, but I don't need them. It's taken off time since his messengers out in life. Ambiguity is your opening gambit, while your kisses keep a mark card up their sleeve. Every time you failed, you claim someone planned it. Lies are always easier to believe. The storm has brought many trees a tumbling. I don't foresee a clear sky anytime soon. Be careful. Stand the walls across.
crumbling Some jaws will drop and they peek inside your room Wedding ring on every finger that must mean ten widows have been robbed. Watching you leave is the only fond memory that lingers, and the one that haunts me is the children's sobs. Some nights I can almost forgive you recalling what you had to do to survive. But what you do today makes me want to outlive you. I'm hoping that that morning will arrive. I wish I could breathe in some fresh air. Down here it is putrid, damp and dank. It would be so nice to know somebody that cared If I never meet them, I know who to find It's a myth you find comfort in closure But still I'd like to taste it all the same I know who would revel in the exposure That's why you'll never hear me speak Turned up unaccompanied and unannounced at the preacher's funeral, claiming to be his only next of kin. Your brother told me you love creating turmoil. They cast you out, but you always find your way back in. Who doesn't shudder knowing you're approaching? Your voice is like the echo of a crypt. Is there no plague your presence won't bring? Is there no pain you don't love to inflict? You plunder the souls of the innocent. Cast of the void. The thought of hell was never a deterrent, huh? Because you keep its servants gamefully employed. The form of the jury came in weeping. You were exonerated of crimes you did commit. You took the lambs away while they were sleeping. A deed to this day you refuse to admit. I can't remember when it was not raining. Claustrophobia keeps tightening its grip. Nine commandments down and one remaining. This ain't the time to make a careless slip. My mistake was looking for a motive. People of your real just love to cause pain. How long before the sleeping centuries of justice Notice how many more dreams must die in vain Was it you I viewed through the bordello window Dashing young fellow begging you for a dance. I cried, can't you hear that ominous wind blow? Get out of there while you still stand a chance. Three days later they fished him from the river. Lipstick on his neck and an empty purse. There's something a night with you will always deliver Orphaned babes and an engine running hearse If 
only once more I could stand unaided and walk towards the flame neath a blue moon. I'm one of so many you've left feeling degraded, bereft of hope and all our strength consumed. I see the carpenter awaiting, sighing looks like it's that time again. I keep telling you it's pointless to go on hating, the dead don't care if they're wearing lace or chains. Fate won't wait to fit your agenda, but your venom consumes your ability to see. You built a ghost town out of a city of splendor. I pity you, your own worst enemy. Your affections are always up for auction, but these nights only low bids are coming in. Caveat emptor and proceed with caution. Some things are not advantageous to win. I decline when you passed me your goblet. Finest wines to make fools of the wisest man. No sooner was the temple built than you. It. I don't think your suitor will post bail for you again. You rode your luck till it died beneath you and now the mayor of nowhere is calling for your vote. Once there was nothing I would not bequeath you. Today it's all I can do not to gloat. Back then I sat enraptured by your speaking That was before I learned your words had claws I don't know what it is that you're seeking There's gotta be a better way to get applause I once walked a thousand miles barefoot To free you from a web of depravity these days I don't even dare put a picture of you anywhere that I can see. If you could turn the clock back, well, would you want to? You might make errors that cut twice as deep. When love is out of reach, it sits and taunts you. How many days like that would you like to keep? You're always claiming everyone mistreats you, but the Undertaker is your best friend. The sticky and odor of despair completes you. It's the sustenance on which you depend. In the condemned cell, they await your pleasure. Anticipation in their obscene panting. Those before them bear scars beyond measure. They were taken away blindfold and panting. You only know it's too late when time deserts you. It's a one-way journey, destination unknown. For the sake of those I love, I pray someone usurps you. Your despotic regime needs to be overthrown. I looked up and saw the sun was missing. I wondered who but you would be involved in the mortuary the dead 
are reminiscing on how your sins will never be absolved. Name me one empire that has not fallen. Your time will come, in fact, it's been and gone. Can you hear those that you defiled calling? They're the first faces you will gaze upon. It's a long song. If you miss just like a single word, you know, you have to let it go because it just follows you through the song otherwise. You'd be like, oh, no, 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 no. In the old days, you know, in the old days. If I still had my studio set up, you know, you'd overdub the vocal. And uh, if you missed a word, you'd slip it in, punch it in. That song is called when the angels take revenge and um, there are uh, two specific angels that I'm thinking of um, in terms of that song. <sighs> trying to let my legs recalibrate so I can stumble over and turn the cameras off. That song I wrote yesterday came to me all in one go with the exception of um, verses I think 17 and 18, the last three lines of 16. I think it was about, uh, I think it was about 8 o'clock in the morning, and I had a workman coming in, he was going to put some rails in. So I just grabbed the pen and paper and I thought, well, you know, since I actually have to sit still now, I'll let a song come out. I never say I sit down to write a song, because it's just, you know, I sit down and, you know, and, uh, And it just came and came and came, and I thought, okay, after about six verses, I thought, well, maybe that's it. It was taken no prisoners, and rightly so. You know. Someone sent me a message last night from yesterday's version. They worked out what it was about, and they said, you know, this is not like you to do that, and so on like that, you know. And where I get this reputation for being this great. Um, a great uh, libertarian or, or, or whatever. Um, well, I do know where it comes from and everything. Um, but, um, but there's two sides to every story. And in this story, it tends to be just one side that gets told all the time. I don't think of myself as the writer of it. So when his message, you know, maybe you could change, and I said, well, no, I can't, because I don't have the permission to change the song. I've been saying this for 42 years now, and people just seem to think I'm making it up. But it's not, you know, the songs come out, and I don't feel... There are some songs where I've sat down and deliberately wrote them kind of thing, you know. And those I might claim ownership of, and if I wanted to, I want to be proprietorial about them. Um, 
you know, and if I was trying to change the words in that, that's not what was given to me, then that is Paul Murphy. This is my view of it. You know, if I change the words, occasionally I might substitute a word that means the same if it scans better and everything, but very little of the time. And sometimes in my new old songs, these lost lyrics where I'm going back and songs I wrote from 1989 to 1993 that have been missing, and I'm pulling those out now. Um, and uh, updating them and changing some of the words around in there. Uh, um, because I was a young man and I hadn't lived long uh, enough, so they were written by a young person. And so now I now let the words come out as an older person with more of a more of a, as I say, uh, to, to change the two lines that um, the person was talking about. You know, that's like me going into, this is just my opinion on it. So I know many other songwriters don't share that view. But I don't know too many other songwriters who have written a song like that view. Name me anyone. Um, I can think of a couple of Leonard Cohen songs um, that uh, I mean, they're not a precedent. Um, but where uh, where that has come through him, uh, I, I can see that. But if I was to go into a library and just take a book off a shelf and get a marker pen and cross out a couple of lines here, and it's sh not what he meant, you know. Uh, and, and I feel like a heel for saying this because, of course, when I take a Bob Dylan song, I rewrite it, you know, and stuff. Uh, uh, but that's someone else's song to a certain extent in another kind of way. Yeah, that's only when I sing those, I want to make those songs about me. So, Paul Murphy songs aren't necessarily about, or for Paul Murphy. I take a Bob Dylan song and want to make it about me, you know. So if I do Visions of Johanna, that's a great song, but I don't know who you're writing about, but I need to put some words in there so it pertains to me. And you can hide behind that then, you know, a lot of times. And I'm not singing about you. It's a Bob Dylan song. You've only used the title and the music. Um, I have a bad memory of words. So, okay, I think I've talked enough. I wish you could see outside the window. You might notice my eyes are going everywhere. I've got so many birds out there now. I don't know what the chaff, I've always had one of the pink chaffinches, um, but I've now got three of the yellow and red ones. They're very spectacular. A million sparrows. We've just had a storm here this morning for the rat now. They're going along like an army regiment. One step, peck, 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 two step, peck, 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 three step, peck, 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 four steps. And like, what? There's all some little seeds going. Life is an amazing thing and very precious. Don't want to give any clues. The camera stopped. You've been very kind and generous with your time and I'm extremely grateful to you.